you know guys the truth is truth is i am scared i don't think it's actually hit me and i don't think it's actually i don't think i've realized why i've been so so crazy about filming and about youtube and just articulating this whole thing and making it perfect and working everything out so it works out so perfectly i just i was like oh yeah like i'm just preparing i'm motivated i'm ready to do this and i'm excited this is gonna all the adrenaline I think part of it is that. That's obviously what's keeping me going, keeping me motivated, keeping on top of the ball. But I think I'm really, really doing this because I'm super scared. I'm really scared to leave my channel, to leave my family, to leave everything I know. This is a, I'm completely restarting, not restarting, but I'm completely starting this whole new life, new everything. And well, to a certain extent, you guys get what I mean. It's just like college. It was something super new to me. It was an unknown. I had never thought about it, planned it, heard of it. Like, well, I mean, I've heard of it, but it wasn't something that I was planning on doing. It's not like I spent my whole high school life preparing for college and figuring it out, knowing what I'm going to do, and just emotionally, mentally preparing myself. I didn't do that. My preparation was three months from when I found out I wanted to go to college to being at college. So I guess I could say that I am used to the fast like change and stuff and the fast starting something new, but it's still scary. I'm human and I still get scared of things, <clears throat> even though I may not show it, I'm definitely scared. It's scary, I'm leaving everything behind. I'm not gonna be doing YouTube for a year and a half. I'm not gonna be able to know like how to help it, how to do it. It's my job, it's how I make money, it's how I keep having opportunities, it's how I'm gonna be able to go back to college. I do know that there are so many blessings that'll come out of this, like more blessings I can even think of, you know? I just wanted to come on here and I just wanted to make this video just to show you guys that I'm normal. I feel like a lot of people, even me, so like I'm not, I can't say too much because I do this all the time too. You automatically have this idea of people you watch online celebrities you might follow. I forget that like people that I follow and I'm watching, they're normal people just like me. They just have their life put on a screen or they pretend to be these people in videos and they just have their life photographed and out for the world to see. But we don't see the struggles they might be having. They wake up every single day figuring out what they need to do. They, they do a lot of similar things that we do. Right? I do a lot of similar things that you guys do. And that's why I'm kind of showing this and I've been lately been showing you guys a lot more of my life, a lot more of what I'm doing. Just so you guys can know, you know, so that we can gain this relationship together. Well, anywho, actually, you know what I wanna do? I kinda wanna post a story. I wanna ask you guys, what are things you struggle with? So, we'll see what everyone says. I'm gonna just keep working and I think I'm gonna clean actually. I tend to clean when I get super, super stressed and super amped up, not amped up. Do you get what I mean? Like <gasps> bottled up. So we're gonna clean and release all of that through my cleaning. I don't know why I'm like this. I feel like I'm just completely consumed, completely consumed with, I'm always trying to become better, right? But I feel like I've gotten to the point where it's like, I don't know if I can say unhealthy because becoming better is always good, but I've become maybe addicted to trying to become better. And so I'm every single day I'm looking for like, oh, how can I do this better and better and better? The point where I'm just not satisfied with anything and I'm completely stressed and consumed with everything I have to be doing because for some reason, but like I can't, like it stresses me out seeing myself not doing it. Does that make sense? Like I can't not be completely consumed with doing all these things because I guess that's where I find my validation. But I just watched one of my friend's TikToks, like their TikTok account, cause I was like, oh, this is cute. Cause I look at a lot of reels to help myself, right? To find more good ideas for me and I and stuff. That's like the only reason I go on reels. I don't go on reels to just 
look at things I'm always looking for what I can post what I can do what I can work with that makes sense right so I basically like going on reels going on Instagram isn't like just to pass time I don't know like most people they go on Instagram to like pass their time and to like it's like a relaxing thing that you just do if that makes sense maybe not relaxing but it's just something you do in your free time Whereas for me, anytime I pick up my phone for Instagram, it is for work. Habit books to help me become better with my habits. I read psychology books to help me with my getting my psychology degree. Every single thing that I am doing is just to, is like just work. And maybe I should just look at it in a better way, but like in a more, it's a fun thing to do, but oh my gosh, I'm so stressed right now. I haven't been this stressed in so long. I cry to my mom literally all the time. I was crying to her today, just how like, I don't feel satisfied. And I know, I'm not like, I know that this this is something that is my fault, basically. Like it's something that I'm doing with myself that I need to try and figure out, but I just, I don't know what to do. I looked at this friend's reels and she's so cute and stuff, but I looked at all of them and then I had to turn them off because it was making me so stressed because I was like, oh, Clay, why didn't you think of doing this? Why didn't you think of doing that? Why, why didn't you film that? Why didn't you film this? Why aren't you preparing better? Why aren't you doing this better? Holy crap, literally can't. It's so freaking stressful. My room is a mess. My life feels like a mess. I mean, look at this, like, my desk is a mess. My clothes are everywhere. That's for packing, but like my clothes are everywhere. That's clothes that are needing to be in a video. I have like a hundred things that are never ending and never finished. I don't know how to not not be this way. I have all of this, I've been working at my computer since like, 8 a.m. It's 3 p.m. right now. I've been working at my computer and I still have this long list that I haven't checked off at all. It's like, I'm like running myself dry. I don't know like how, I think I keep thinking to myself, oh, like when I go back to college, it'll be f like, I'll be happier and I can, I can relax more because I'm working right now. Or, oh, when I go on my mission, I can, it'll be good because I won't be stressed about this. But paying this, this is something I told a friend this, that like he um he was like oh like I like I I totally want to learn language too and I was like oh that's awesome like why don't you start right now and he's like well I just I'll start when I have time and it's like everyone has a time when they'll say like oh yeah I'll do this when I have time or oh yeah I'll do this when I'm done with this right but, like you usually just never get to it right you have to start right then and there and I just need to start <sighs> sorry I am kind of just melting down at you guys. But I figured I'm kind of made a goal and like a pact with myself that I would be completely honest with you guys and like try to show you a little more of my life. As you guys have seen, I've been switching a lot more into just vlogs. I used to do a lot more challenges, but I'm growing up now and I think that vlogging will give you guys a little bit better of a feel of my life rather than the more skit style videos. So I'm hoping you guys are enjoying them. I'm excited to, when I get off my mission, to show you guys kind of my life, like, as I find a boyfriend, get married, going to college again. It's gonna be a really awesome life. So, I hope you guys are sticking around with me and you guys are enjoying this, because I really, as you guys saw, I really, really try and I put my whole heart into my YouTube channel and my, into everything that I'm doing. I think lately it's been super hard for me because my channel is so down right now, not getting good views at all. It's draining when you don't receive back the same amount of reward, I guess, as you put forth with effort. And so I, I'm just hoping that this can come eventually. But anyways, I'm going to do this podcast and I will be back on in a little bit. Oh, candy. Oh my gosh. I'm so happy right now. Here's a tip for you guys. Don't put, oh, once I start doing this more, I'll be better or I won't be depressed. For YouTubers, you can't tie your emotions and your, your like, I mean, it's hard, it's hard to say you can't tie your success to your channel because, I mean, if your channel's doing really well, in a way you're doing successfully, I don't know how else to explain it. Like, you just can't tie your emotions to your channel. So if you, tie like your emotions like oh i'm gonna be i'm so happy because my channel's doing well then obviously if you tie your six your emotion to the success you're tying your emotions to the lower parts the i can't say unsuccessful because it's not unsuccessful but the um 
the less good viewed days or whatever. I don't know. And that's what I'm doing. And I'm trying so hard because I'm saying to myself, once I get all this stuff done, I'll be happy once I get this right. But it's not that way. You have to choose to be happy. Like, you'll just always be in this emotional roller coaster. Whereas if you can just choose to be happy for how things are going, like, I can't even explain it because I can't figure it out for myself. But I'm just, I'm basically telling you guys this to help myself because I need a lot of help with this right now. I decided I would start watching maybe a movie. I'm watching something called Along for the Ride. It's on Netflix. It's like a Netflix special. It's okay. I'm gonna watch it.